can't video here, dude. Oh, no problem. No problem. No problem. Well, folks, um, I'm not gonna lie. The pawn, sh the selection in this pawn shop was absolutely amazing, and yet it it was not it was not a good stop. Okay, so it just started absolutely monsooning outside. I had to take shelter in this self service car wash. But let me fill you guys in on what just happened. I should preface this by saying that I am a very firm believer in businesses operating the way that they want to. Some people sometimes assume the way that I talk on this channel that I think I'm entitled to go into a place and buy stuff for under market value and make my YouTube videos. That's not the case at all. So when I walked in the door and he said, uh, sorry, so you're not allowed to film in here. I said, God bless you. No problem at all. You should run your business the way that you want. Oh, no problem. Which was, to be honest, a little bit of a shame because I'm gonna have Editor Riff pull up some pictures from Google Images here. They had video games literally floor to ceiling and wall to wall. It was like half pawn shop, half video game store. So naturally I see this and I start asking some questions about like other inventory they might have and pricing and they let me know that the stuff behind the counter mostly hasn't been priced and that they pretty much look everything up and go a dollar under eBay. I'm like, not my favorite thing, but you know, whatever. But they tell me that the stuff in the shelves at the front of the store, the lower dollar games, they're already priced and those prices will pretty much stand. So I got kind of excited when I found a copy of Family Guy on the PS2 and Matrix Path of Neo out there, both for five bucks. And they're both like 20 plus dollar games. And they were pretty scratched up. So I waited a while for them to buff them for me, which was nice. It was probably like 15 minutes. And the man came back to me and said, all right, this one will be $5 and this one will be 10. And I was like, hold on a second. I thought you said that the stuff that was out on the shelves, those prices would stand. And he said, yes they do but this one here I saw you get from behind the counter when you were looking at the behind the counter games and so I said oh no this this was just a mistake I actually had grabbed that one from the front shelf ahead of time and I brought it with me and had it in my hand as I was looking at the stuff behind the counter with the games that hadn't been priced yet and he looked at me in my eyes and said no, you didn't. This was behind the counter. And I said, no, no, I think this is just a misunderstanding. Like, believe me, I'm very certain this was the first game that I touched when I came in the door. This one was priced at $5 and I was excited about it. We talked about Family Guy and how it's a good show. I'm very certain that I got this from the front counter. And he stared right into my eyes and said, no, you didn't. And folks, I'll be honest, at that point, I was kind of speechless. I had never been treated that way before in a pawn shop. And I want to, like, I'm trying to be empathetic. I know they probably have people in there all the time that are trying to get one over on them and they have to be leery and be cautious of people trying to take advantage of them. But to just outright be called a liar as you're trying to, like, support a local business, it just, it just felt it just felt wrong, I don't know. So at that point, I just had to say thanks, I think I'm gonna pass, walked out the door, and now here we are. You guys can let me know if I'm being irrational or whiny in the comments. I just felt kinda icky about the whole situation. Hey, look folks, over